Here is another question that one of our viewers had, and it has something to do with the walk line associated with the stairway. And in most cases, the walk line is going to be 12 inches away from one side, usually the inside of the stairway, or the path that would be traveled most of the time when going either up or down the stairways. Most people rarely walk up the center of a stairway unless the stairway isn't very wide. So for example, if I had a stairway that was 26 inches wide, I'd probably walk up the center. However, if it's about five foot wide, then you're probably going to walk up one side or the other. And most building codes refer to the walk line as something that would be 12 inches from the inside of a stairway. So depending upon what side that would be would depend upon the path of travel. And in the walk line, the step measurements, the measurements that you're going to be measuring from the face of the furthest most projecting point on the top step to the furthest point projecting from the lower step or this distance right here most of the time needs to be the same or can vary sometimes however the amount of that might not be very much for example most building codes allow a 3 8 maximum variation from the shortest to the widest step so this doesn't mean you can have a 10 inch step here, a 10 and 3 8 inch step here, 10 and 3 quarter inches. No, the steps cannot vary more than 3 8 of an inch. And that might look something like a 10 inch step here, 10 and an eighth inch step here, 10 and a quarter inch step, 10 and 3 8 10 and a quarter, 10 and 3 8 just not more than 3 8 of an inch. So when we go to the circular stair, we're going to have the same thing. Our walk line is going to be 12 inches in, and each one of these measurements need to be the same, or whatever your local building codes will allow as the maximum variation. So not too difficult. We just went from straight to circular or curved stairs. And of course, the reason why I'm making the video, this was actually the type of stairway that the viewer was questioning. Can you build a stairway where you can flip the treads or flip the stairway? For example, if this stairway looks a little similar to the other one, it's because this section right here is the same as this section here. I just rotated it 180 degrees and then snapped it together. And of course, you can see the problem that we're going to have with the walk line to where we're going to have the same size steps here. However, most building codes might not allow you to change at any part in the stairway and go over the maximum distance of 3 8 of an inch for each step. And you can see here where we're probably going from about 13, 14 inches to about 8 or 9 inches. And that also might not be accepted if you alternate each step. And I'm just kind of throwing this out there to provide you with a little more things to think about if you're going to get a little creative with your stairway design. Because something like this is going to provide a different step along the walk line. However, it might not produce a different step if we're going up the center of the stairway. And for those of you who think that I was providing you with a little hope that would allow you to build something like this, think again. This is probably not going to make your building inspector happy. Now, what if we take two sections of a winder, one here and one here? and rotate this one 180 degrees. And even though I'm not suggesting this will be approved by your local building codes, I am suggesting that you could have an argument here because this wouldn't be that difficult of a stairway to walk up and down as long as you were kind of traveling this path here and not using the walk line measurements that would look something like this here. So if we were going to go to the inside and then switch to the other side, if this was allowed, then it might work. However, if our walk line needs to stick to the inside of the stairway, then you can see right here where it's not going to work. And of course, for those of you wondering why you've seen stuff like this built before, then I only have three possible answers. One is that the stairs never went through any type of building permits or building code approval. 
Two, the building's old and there weren't any building codes when it was built. Or third on the list is the fact that the building apartment approved it for whatever reasons. And of course, the biggest problem with building codes is the actual interpretation from your building department representative or inspector or both. Because sometimes winders are viewed a little different than curved stairs, even though the only difference in my opinion would be the shape of the inside and the shape of the outside. Because I haven't found any building codes that suggest that a set of winders cannot connect with another set of winders in the opposite direction, even though I've never seen something like this built before. 